One fall day after school, I'm Shinji Mabuki, 11th grade. Two girls and I was only ones left in the classroom or class 2 slash 1. And I was in trouble. I was faced with two ultimate choices. I was asked out by two girls from my class, and I wasn't quite the pickles. I... I want you to go out with me. First, is this new student that moved here from Yamaguchi Prefecture about a month ago? I know it's not good to talk about the people's looks, but she has a little to no boobs. She has a long black hair with a blonde heavy haircut. But she's tall and her physique is like a model. She doesn't look or act very bold, and she has gained a nickname, plain and simple. This is Kanako Yamashita, and she has asked me out. We were signed seats next to each other just the other day. Kanako is a bit forgetful, and she forgets to bring a lot of stuff. One day, she forgot her eraser, another it was her textbook. One of the worst examples was her forgetting her lunch. So, me sitting right next to her, made her one of my erasers, let her look off my textbook, and gave her half of my handmade sandwich. Since I don't have a mom, and I live with just my dad, making a lunch in the morning was my job. Th thanks I didn't find her cute when she shyly thanks to me, slightly looking up at me. Wait. This egg sandwich is really good. Your mom must be a really good cook. Oh, well, no, I made that. My mother passed away from breast cancer two years ago. Oh, I didn't know that. So you made these. Uh, yeah. Back to the present. I was also asked one of the most popular girls in school, the seat to the left of me in the class, Yuko Hayashi, the brunette. Shinji. You'll go out with me, right? She's short and looks like a bit childish, but she has massive boobs. Yuko has she has the demeanor of a small animal, but she has a really bad mouth. On top of that, she acts all cutesy, so the other girls tend to steal away from her. Anyway, a week ago in a gym class, we were jumping over vaulting horses. She had tried to jump over level 7, and apparently she was unable to move from the twisting her ankle. None of the girls around Yuko were willing to help, so I was a student body president. I picked her up like a bride and carried her to the nurse's office. And according to her, this was the reason she fell off me. Hey, you! I was meaning to ask Shinji out. How dare you come here from the city just a month ago and already have the nerve to ask Shinji out? Please, Shinji, you're going to choose cute little me over this giant that's probably like two inches taller than you, right? Above all, she's so plain and simple. Black framed glasses, heavy curtain bangs, no boobs at all, and her choice of clothing is always pants like jeans and chinos. It's so lame, it's funny. Hey, it's so nice to comment on other people's looks. Who cares, I'm just stating the fact. Plus, Kanako doesn't seem to mind that I'm stating the obvious. I brightly look over at Kanako. It was true. It looked as if Yuko's bad mouthing didn't bother him slightest. Well, make your choice, Shinji. Says Yuko. Huh? I say. What do you mean, huh? Both Kanako and I asked you out, so now you have to choose which one of us is going to be your girlfriend. Well, not that there's much of a choice. Of course you'd prefer me, who's cute and has better fashion sense, to be your girlfriend and walk by your side, right? Yuko wears a scarf every day. I'm very sure what I'm saying. On the other hand, as I mentioned earlier, Kanako always wears pants. I can't really make a choice right this instant. I need to sleep on it. I need to think it through, so give me out till tomorrow. Yuko puffed up her cheeks to my response and said, What? She protests, and Kanako says, I understand. And nods compliantly. Then, both girls leave the room. I'm exhausted, so I gather my things and leave the classroom and head back to home. The next day after I got asked out by two girls, I arrived at school to find that there was an incident. The classroom is a lot of first than usual. The seat to the right of me. There is something different about Kanako Yamashita. G Good morning, Shinji. Um, uh, who are you? Oh, you. It's me, 
Kanako. No way! Do you think it looks weird? I tried to retire the plain and simple label. Yuko calling me plain and simple over and over again made me want to put my best foot forward. It, it's not weird at all. I was startled and shook my hand back and forth in front of my face. Plain and simple looks so different today. She's so hot. And she's gotten layers in her hair and it looks a lot lighter. And she dyed it blonde. You, you, you dyed, dyed her, her hair, hair blonde, blonde from, from black, black yesterday? yesterday? And, and, and you touch a glass and, and, and put on makeup. makeup. No, no fear. fear. Technically, at our school, we are allowed to dye our hair. Technically, we are to wear our own closet or school uniform. But and then you could sit up from her chair. She patted on her scarf as she said to me, Do you think this length will pass the school protocol? You can't see my underwear underneath, can you? I glanced over briefly, not knowing where to look, especially on her bare legs. Um, you might be cutting it close. I think you might need to make it a little longer. Oh, okay. She obeyed and unraveled her scarf to make it a little longer. I is this okay? Sh sure. A anyway, we have really pretty legs. Oh, I used to do classical ballet, so I guess they're in okay shape. Knacko said modestly, but from guy's perspective, it's out of this world! It's way too pretty! The classroom was possibly because of the Knacko, it was because she looked totally different. Everyone in the class was talking about her. Hey, Planet Simple had a huge transformation! Ooh, her face is so cute. She doesn't have boobs, but her legs, so long and pretty! Blonde looks so good on Plain and Simple! They said. Later, Kanako's love rival had arrived at school. Yuko entered the classroom. She saw Kanako sitting next to me. She was about to greet me. Morning, Shinji. She tried to say as she dropped her school bag next to her desk. Then... Plain and simple. You look so different. She mumbles weakly. And... I... I lost. She shouted. And she cried loudly until the homeroom started. And that's how I ended up walking home with Kanako, hand in hand. I asked Kanako on her walk home. So, why are you playing simple until yesterday? Oh, I don't like being the center of attention. I don't like special treatment. Hmm. I gave a response that wasn't very clear. <laughs>